Library Workflow When you are finished with your configuration and programming, you can save it to the custom library. I have already created few folders in the custom library. Let's save one of the IOs configured. Drag and drop the IO to the desired folder. Below you can view the properties of this IO and modify them if required. You can add information like author, group or tags which can also help while searching for this IO. It is also possible to save a group of IOs. Select the IOs and drag and drop them to the folder. Here I am creating a new folder for this group of IOs. You can easily move the elements between folders. As you can see, it shows that there are 11 elements in this group and the details of each element can be seen in the description. Let's navigate to the Modbus task. Here you see only the Modbus field devices from headquarters. But, in the custom library you can view all the content. I want to save the damper actuator device configured to reuse in future. You can export the complete custom library or just parts of it and share it with your colleagues. They can import the file shared and view all the content as shared. Let's assume that I have imported this library and I want to reuse few elements. I have created a test plant here, where I will drag and drop the IOs required for the Hello World application. You can see that all the 11 elements are now added to my test plant. The hardware assignments are not saved in the custom library. Hence, the IOs here are not assigned to the hardware. Let's also have a look to the custom library in the programming editor. This is the Hello World plant which we had taken from the library and then replaced the outside air damper with the Modbus damper. I will save this complete plant in the custom library as I know this might be required in the future. If required, the properties can be modified and additional information can be added. You are at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.